Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy and we're still on a review and I think it's lesson 72. Holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation. Um, the ego is doing really well with me at the moment. Um, I lost my temper in Israel between you and me. I know this is a private group but it's not, you know, doesn't go anywhere. I lost my temper as you know in Israel and um, I don't feel any guilt about it um, and I did some things that I basically feel I would have done again at the way I'm feeling at the moment because I feel like I was pushed you when you get pushed and pushed Jesus broke the temple let's put it that way we all have a part of us in us that if you keep pushing and being unkind to that part of us is going to blow up that's the grievances you know, when that guy plowed into the people, when, when someone does something cruel, we call cruel, you know, and hurts others, it's because something built up and up and up for whatever reason, and they can't control the godliness, the love inside them anymore, because the ego's taken over. And that's what happens. They go out and they create these massacres because they've lost their conscience. Now, I think that probably that's what happened to me when I was full of grief in Israel after I found out that I didn't have any rights to my dad's home anymore. I lost my temper completely and I did a couple of things that um, quite honestly I don't feel guilty about because I think that that part of me can only take so much and if I feel guilty where's that going to lead me to more awful stuff? Guilt is no good for us. You know, we're brought up to think that if you do something that's not okay, you feel guilty. But it's a mistake. We make mistakes. Okay, so I made a mistake. And I got out of Israel very quickly, or else I would have been probably arrested and put in prison. You know, but... So what I'm saying is, start the day again. You know, we do things, we make mistakes. But the Course is telling us that love is stronger. So today is a beautiful sunny day. I'm going to Yundan Valley and hopefully I'll be able to walk. Hopefully my leg will walk me today. Hopefully I'll be able to walk with this leg um, that is healing. And not focus on the fact that the family have taken my dad's home, the fact that all this awful stuff has happened, that my parents made terrible mistakes and put me right in the middle of it. So for a few moments today, I can enjoy the beauty of Yundan. I can have a meal, I can treat people with respect and move on. You know, everyone could go to confession and say I'm sorry um, or say, well, no, I'm not sorry, I, I made a mistake. And I can't, at, at this moment, I can't say that if I was in Israel and I was at my father's home and people that I don't know were living in it and I wasn't even told about it, whether I would not make that same mistake again. Therefore, I'm not in Israel. I've left. I got away from the environment. So what I'm trying to say is if you're being triggered and you know that you're going to do things that are not congruent with your spirituality, okay, get out. Get out from that situation. Move out of the situation. Give yourself the space. Maybe that's what's coming through here. Give yourself the space to breathe. Cut these people out of your life that are hurting you. You may need to do that. Or else you will keep feeding that monster. You will keep feeding and focusing on whatever it is that isn't working. You can't change anybody else. You can only change yourself. As we all know. So today I'm saying on this course that I'm going to try my best to have a good day today. I'm, having a, I'm doing my best to go to Yundin Valley. I'm doing my best to have a meal and nurture my body, to enjoy the vitamin D and the sunshine. And that's it. I sent an email to my family's lawyer to tell them to back off, because if they don't back off, I will release what I know about how my father was treated. You do what you can and then you leave it. End of. I told them to stop harassing my husband and that I'm not with my lawyer anymore, so stop harassing him as well. And that's it. My lawyer is vulnerable too. We're all vulnerable. And I believe that my sister is vulnerable too. And those that are hurting me are obviously vulnerable in some way. They're not happy people. And so why should I want them in my life? For some reason, they're determined to do whatever they can to hurt me. So there you go. 
So today I'm focusing on what I have got, on the beauty, uh, on enjoying the sunshine more than anything, because God knows we deserve that. And uh, praying in my heart that uh, Moving On TV does a good service for all of you. I've done an appeal for the Samaritans and I hope it helps a lot of people to bring on more volunteers. And that's the only way I can compensate for the mistakes that I've made in my life. That's it. I'm doing my best. So don't punish yourself for the mistakes. Just try to say, okay, I'm human. Jesus broke the temple and people do things and they do them. You can't take it back. But today I'm going to do my best to be a good person and not punish the rest of the human race because I feel that I'm a bad person because we do that. We do that. So you're not a bad person. We make mistakes. We're human. That human side of us is very, very vulnerable. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Love you lots. Coming into Uinden Valley uh, now. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see how beautiful it is. Coming into Uinden. There's no sheep at the moment. I hope you can see the beauty of Uinden Valley. There you go. Bye.